Hey guys, welcome to another Mini Z video. I still haven't decided if I'm going to mount that Porsche 962C onto my 102mm LM chassis. I'll just get that out of the way. I had a few things arrive during the last week or so, so I'll just show you what's turned up. I had some wheels arrive, so the narrow 2.5s and the wide ones are what I use on either a Sauber on an LM chassis or on a Porsche 962, so I'm sort of pondering if I do a Sauber or another Porsche. Also, these are the tyres that I often use, although some of my cars have got different tyres to sort of tweak them a bit. So it's common for me to use the MZW2 30 degree slicks on the front, which are narrow. And it's common for me to use the classic radials, the MZW3820, so 20 degree wide radials on the rear. And on a lot of my cars that I bought brand new myself, I've been swapping over the plastic T-plates to using these FRP ones, the MZW437H, which is a half millimeter hard one. And I find generally that it's a little bit stiffer in terms of the roll compared to the plastic ones. And I just find it's um, no worse and a slightly better, but you know, more or less the same, but at least I think in the long run, it's gonna last longer. Also had some auto scale cars turn up that um, are probably destined eventually to be cars that I drive. So here's a Sauber C9 with the AEG Olympia color scheme. There's the info on the back for it. So it's a Group C Rennsport Wagen, German thing of basically saying sports sort of sports car, race car sort of thing from Le Mans in 1998. Also had another Sauber C9 arrive with the Kuros color scheme. And I'll show its info on the back. So that was a Le Mans 1987 car. And here's something different. So it's a Honda Civic Type R FK8 model version in the championship white color. The reason I bought this one is because it's getting close to the point where you won't find them retail anymore. It's getting harder and harder to see them at retail prices, so they'll become possibly collectible prices later on, but they're a pretty common body, so they may not go up in value much. It's hard to predict which ones will be popular. So what interested me when this one arrived is it had a sticker on the front saying for all wheel drive series and I'm pretty sure when I bought another one that said for front wheel drive and I can't remember for sure whether the front wheel drives use all wheel drive wheels which are incompatible with the rear wheel drive so I just can't remember maybe that's what they do and so the sticker could say either it doesn't matter so I'll just show the info on the back of that one. Pretty simple Honda Civic Type R and this one's a very special one for me because it's actually my daily driver car. I owned this car in this colour for, um, just thinking now, just under three years. And it's absolutely fantastic. So of course it cops a lot of comments from people that um, have different tastes about how cars look. Um, I think the majority of people like cars that are more plain and simple, whereas um, initially when I saw this car I thought it looked over the top but that was from looking at pictures on the internet and actually when I saw it for the first time in real life it um, actually appealed to me more and then I drove it and then <laughs> there was no way I was going to buy a Hyundai i30N or a Renault Sport Megane RS280 which the other cars I drove on the same day because the Honda is an absolute beast. So I also had a ready set arrive during the week and it's um, an Audi R8 LMS 2010 version. And I picked that up because ePay had a, a coupon with a good discount and an Aussie seller, you know, a hobby shop, had it for a reasonable price. So once I applied the coupon, it made it a price that was hard to resist. So I thought I'll grab that because I think it looks good. And also um, I've got some 
Audi R8 2010 LMS bodies on the way that this will make it easier for me to have a, an extra body to put them on. That's all I have to show in this video guys. So I think in my next video I'll probably open up the Audi R8 and drive it on the track. I have to change the tyres first of course because they come with really low grip tyres out of the box. So I'll put the tyres on that I showed earlier in this video. They should make a big difference to how it drives on the track. So thanks for watching guys. Mini Z out.